Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me because I am getting ready to go to our very first military ball. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do or how long it's going to take me, so let's just go ahead and get this video started. So first I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Waterproof Eye Primer. I went and got my hair done this morning at Ulta and the girl did a really good job. So if you are local and need a little updo, I definitely recommend Kayla at Ulta because she did a really great job. I'm very, I usually don't like my hair until like I see my makeup and stuff done, like the whole look with it, but I actually did like it without my makeup on. So that, that says something. <laughs> And then I think for today's look, I'm going to be doing the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop. And I think I'm going to do a little smoky eye look. I think I'm going to use Midnight Curfew and Thingamabob, but we'll see. I kind of feel like I'm going to end up playing with my look a little bit because I really don't know what I'm going to do. All right, for my base color, I'm going to be using the color Chip. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid kind of a thing to set in that primer. But yeah, we are going to our first military ball and I'm really excited and I'm really nervous because I've obviously never been to one before. And I just know that there's a lot of important people there and I don't like meeting new people very much. I mean, I do, but I just feel very stressed about it. I never remember anybody's names because as soon as they're like, hi, I'm so-and-so, I'm like, all right, gotta say your name. And I just, I completely don't take in what their name was. And so I always, always forget it. And I feel terrible that I do that, but it's just what I do, unfortunately. Our military ball is going to be in Alexandria Bay at one of the hotels there, so that'll be really nice. We actually haven't been back down to Alexandria Bay since the summertime, so it's been a while, so it'll be nice to kind of go back down there and see what it kind of looks like in the wintertime, I guess. Brad and I have actually had the opportunity to go to other military balls, but like back in Kansas there is one and I believe there was one in Hawaii as well but my kids were just so young and we didn't really know anybody at that time that that wasn't really something that we wanted to do we didn't we didn't want to put our kids with somebody that we didn't know and and all of that so we've never gone before so I'm really, I'm really excited to actually get the chance to go because I keep saying that this is going to be like the prom that I never had because Brad could not go to my prom because they told me that he was too old, um, which was whatever. But so I'm finally getting like the prom experience that I never had. Instead, it's just a military ball though. <laughs> And for those of you that don't know, they just do these military balls kind of just to like honor the unit pretty much. And um, it's supposed to be really cool. I know they do like a, like a formal portion of the night and then there's like a not so formal portion where you like eat and chat with people and, and stuff. So that'll be uh, interesting to see. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Army Wives, but I kind of feel like I will be Roxy and kind of <laughs> the president's here. <laughs> no, not really. I know better than that, but I am really nervous. I'm going to do something stupid or say something stupid or whatever, but it's okay. It'll be fun. Oh, this is dark. I did a face mask earlier today and it was like one of those ones that have like the the gold flecks in it and stuff and you can kind of see but like I've kind of got this like goldish tint to my I guess you can't really see in the camera but I can see I've got this like goldish tint to my face so I'm hoping when my foundation and stuff goes on that it will go away maybe it'll just kind of like make me look glowy <laughs> 
I already know I'm gonna be super white in my dress because I mean I've just been wearing long sleeve shirts and stuff this whole winter but my dress is black and it's really pretty my friend Katie actually lent it to me thank you so much Katie for doing that so that was really nice of her and it's super pretty and I'm really glad that it fit me because I don't know what I would have done otherwise I'm not really sure how long these military balls last but the thing said that like we aren't gonna eat dinner until like eight o'clock so this is like the first time that my kids have been babysat by like somebody other than my mom they went to the gym daycare when we would go to the gym in Hawaii I'll show you guys this real quick I'm just using this NARS concealer it's the, their creamy concealer um but we were obviously, you know, right there in the gym using it. So this will be the first time that they are being watched by somebody. And I really hope they're good because... <laughs> uh, but yeah, my friend Katie is nicely watching them for us. So not only did she lend me her dress, but she's also watching the kids for us. So hopefully they are very good for her. Peyton's a little bummed that she doesn't get to go to the ball, but I told her that maybe there would be a, a daddy-daughter ball at some point because I have seen some of those pop up around the area. But yeah, she's like, I don't want you to go to the ball without me. Can I go too? <laughs> Poor girl. She loves anything to do with dresses and balls and, you know, all that princessy stuff. I really hope this turns out okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm so worried. I wasn't really sure what to do because I felt like like my normal brown eye look that I do wouldn't have really looked that good. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just kind of, I think I'm just too nervous to think about it. I don't really know why I'm nervous because, I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a deal to meet new people and, and stuff, but I think it's just a, kind of like a mixture of things. It's like the first time that we're leaving the kids for a long time. I hope they're good. You know, I hope this ball goes good. I hope that it's not, it doesn't take like, I don't know. I just hopefully, hopefully it's a good time. I assume it will, it will be because, you know, everybody kind of talks about these balls and stuff. Um, so I imagine that it will be fun. <laughs> I wouldn't see why not, but yeah, I'm just a little, a little nervous. So I'm probably talking all over the place. I probably am going to end up watching this video back and be like, yeah, you probably shouldn't post this because you are, are all over the place but I guess we'll see so I never really know how I feel about my makeup until I put my foundation and stuff on I think that I'm liking it right now but like I said I don't I don't know I hope I'm not getting ready too early I wasn't really sure how, like how long this whole process would take me because I wasn't sure if I would end up having to like redo my eye look a few times um so i wanted to get ready with enough time to redo it if i needed to but also if i didn't need to that it would you know not start like melting away and stuff yet but all right i think i like this right now um i'm gonna go ahead and put my primer on and i'm just using this smashbox photo finish primer so put that all over All right, and then I like to take my Morphe setting spray, which I really like this stuff. When I do my little my little video um, updating you guys on what I thought about my like beauty haul that I did, I will definitely tell you guys more. But so far, I really I really like this. But I like to spray some of it on my beauty blender thingy, and then I'm gonna be taking my Lancome um, Regenere Regenere Lift Makeup. I don't know. What is that, mom? Can you tell me? So we still don't know quite when we are going to be moving yet. Um, we should be hearing from her within the next week or so about houses that are going to be available. And hopefully it'll be more than one so we can kind of like choose from one. But even if it was one, we're going to take it anyway. So it wouldn't really matter too much it would just be nice to have a choice we are still planning on switching houses which will be really nice because it's already there's been a couple times where 
feel like the kids' rooms and stuff are really hot. And our room is the only one up here that has a air conditioning unit in it and it does not reach to the kids' rooms very well. So I just know summer would have been a pain in the butt again. So really excited to have central air again. I don't think I see the gold anymore, so that's good. <laughs> and then I'm just taking my NARS Creamy Concealer again, and I'm just going to put that underneath my eye and on the bridge of my nose and all of that good stuff. This is going to be the first time since, well, I think ever, that I will see Brad in his dress uniform because at basic training graduation, they only wore their tops they didn't wear the jacket or anything so i think this is the first time that i get to see him all dressed up and this is the first time i've dressed up like night like you know in a gown <laughs> since my it would have been my let's see my junior slash senior year formal um, my homecoming because that was the only dance Brad was allowed to go to. All right, I didn't think this makeup looks okay. I might have to play with it a little bit, but. And then I'm gonna take my, I still don't know how to say that, Stila, 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 Stila. My Stila, is it Stila? I don't know. Waterproof eyeliner. And I'm not going to do anything fancy because I do not want to risk screwing anything up because I'm still learning how to perfect a wing. <laughs> it is definitely a process. I feel like I should probably pack some eyelash glue in my little clutch so that way in case an eyelash decides to go rogue on me. And glue it back down <laughs> our um the ball theme is hawaiian so for like dinner and stuff we chose to have the what kind of chicken was it something chicken brad's looking for me real fast but all the other ones were a little too adventurous for me <laughs> it's always safe to go with the chicken So my camera just turned off. I really hope I was recording before. I think I was. Oh, I was. I don't know why it does that though. It turns off after it's been like recording for a while. I mean, like if it was just sitting here not being used, then I would get that, but I'm filming. So why are you, why are you turning off? Good thing I wasn't doing like a time lapse or something cause then I guess it would have. I wonder if there's a setting I can play with. I'll have to look. Now I'm gonna take my roller lash from Benefit Mascara and put a little bit of that on. And then I just bought some new eyelashes from Lily Lashes. And they were having a, like a little offer where you buy one, get a free Miami one. And I do like the Mink Miami lashes, so I jumped all over that because I can always use new lashes. Obviously, I got a pair of the Mink Miami ones, and then I also got a new pair that I have not tried yet, and these ones are Hollywood. And I'm not sure which one I should wear. So I guess I'm going to take one out of each and Put it on real fast and see which look we should go for. Okay, so that is the Mink Miami one. And this one is the Hollywood one. Yeah, they look pretty similar. I think I'll go with the mink ones this time. Just because I've tried them before. I know I'll like them. <laughs> and then I also decided to try out their lash glue. I thought I had seen on their website that they have like a black 
eye glue, but I didn't see it on there. So this one says clear. So hopefully it will be clear. <laughs> Wait for that to get tacky before I stick it on. And I'm doing pretty good on time, so that's good because I'm not quite done with my face yet. And then I, I will have time to do like little touch-ups if I need to play with it, which I don't know. I don't really want to mess with it too much because I don't want to risk making it worse. Because it's not bad right now, but I don't want it to get worse. Alright, so let's put this on. Sometimes I'm really good at putting on eyelashes and sometimes I'm not. <laughs> this time I think went very well. Which means my next one will be really bad. And I'll probably have to like rip it off multiple times. My lighting is super white right now on my screen. Hopefully it's not looking that way when I edit it. I mean, I am this white anyway though. I like blend in with, actually I think my wall is darker than me. All right, that one went on pretty good as well. Sorry if you can hear the person revving their engine outside. Apparently you gotta rub your engine in order to start it. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. And then now I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Butter Collection and Casey Holmes palette for my bronzer. This stuff smells so good. It smells like summer, which makes me really excited for summer. I'm hoping that we can buy like a patio set and stuff this year and kind of enjoy being outside but that means I'm gonna have to really keep up on like picking up after the dogs because that definitely <laughs> makes you not want to hang out outside when they've got a bunch of dog duty everywhere. This uh, winter we did not do a good job of keeping up with it and sometimes it was you know you couldn't because of the, how much it was snowing and stuff like that but oh my goodness when all this snow has now melted dog poop galore so we are definitely gonna have to <laughs> do a big old cleanup before we move out because if you leave dog poop in the yard they charge you $150 to remove it so definitely don't want to pay that in Hawaii we never really had to worry about that because it rained so much that it kind of just disappeared and we kind of figured oh you know that'll happen with the snow it's gonna melt and it's just not gonna be in the yard no that's not what happened it's still there okay then i'll take a little bit of my blush and i'll just use the casey holmes palette again because why not and I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics Blushing in Bali palette. And it's a six color blush and highlighter palette. And I'm going to be using the color Glisten for my highlight. I have to do a little bit of sun kissed too and mix it in there. Okay. Mm, that is done. Eyebrows. That's what I need to do. I really love this spray, you guys. It's really good. All right, for eyebrows, I'm just going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, and I use the color. What color do I use? I use Central Park. My eyebrows always take me the longest, so I think I'm going to edit this part out. And then I will see you guys again when I'm done. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I think it turned out pretty good. I was not really sure what I was going to be doing with my face for this, you know, evening. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I'm really glad that my lily lashes came on time. But yeah, I need to go ahead and get going because I got to put my dress on. I need to fix some of these little flyaways that have happened over the last few hours. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.